children, have you ever met the bogeyman before? No, of course you haven't, for you're much too good, I'm sure. Don't you be afraid of him. Hey everybody, Amy Way Meredith here, and look at my hands. I'm not real sure what to do with those. Okay, well anyway, I'm back with my sixth tutorial for my 31 days of Halloween. Thanks so much for coming back to check out my tutorial. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Bagul from Sinister, and this guy scared the crap out of me. But hey, what is life without a good scare? Don't forget, MUA Meredith, like and subscribe. First, I used a third degree silicone to apply a prosthetic piece on my mouth, and then I used the silicone to lay down the sides of the prosthetic piece. You can pretty much use anything you want. You could use latex and toilet paper. You could use um, another sort of prosthetic. Just make sure you stick it down really well so it doesn't come off and make sure that um, the latex or silicone is completely dried before you try to paint it. So while it's drying I decided to go ahead and put on my face paint and I used Mehron Paradise Paint in gray for the dead skin look. So next you want to um, make sure and powder that piece so it's not sticky. So after I got the paint all over the mouthpiece and everything else, I got out my airbrush machine and I wanted to make the little squiggly lines. Um, I was having some trouble at first, it was just really spotty, it wasn't coming out right, but in the end everything worked out fine. I did um, have to go back in and kind of smooth them out with some eyeshadow. So just get those little lines on the best you can. Don't forget to do the mouthpiece as well. This is a pretty simple look um, and easy to do. And if you don't have an airbrush machine, you can just use eyeshadow and just make sure you blend them out so that it looks like wide squiggles and not skinny squiggles. So next I wanted to put on my eyes and I just basically used a reference picture. I outlined my eyes and then I went back in with black paint and filled them in. I lined my waterline with um, a black perversion eyeliner from Urban Decay which I like because it's super dark. So I'm filling in, oh and I set the paint with a black eyeshadow, um, I usually use Melt Dark Matter just because it is like the blackest eyeshadow I've been able to find, and it's kind of perfect, I love it. Okay so after that's done I just kind of went back in and um, I smoothed out my lines, powdered with eyeshadow to set the black paint, and then I drew some shadows under and above. I wanted to have a, a mean frow on my brow, so I added some lines, and then just went back in, smoothing it out. And after that, I added my wig and acted like a complete lunatic. So thanks again, and if you love my tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe so you know when my next one is coming out. And thank you again for joining me. You can reach me on here or... visit you, he's a great big coward, so I'll tell you what to do. Hush, 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 here comes the bogeyman. 